Welcome to my southern France vlog, which includes a road trip to one of the most beautiful villages in France and exploring the stunning seaside city of Nice. We left Paris nice and early in the morning to fly down to Nice. If you haven't seen my Paris vlog, I'll have a link to it in the description. When we arrived at Nice Airport, we hired a car and drove just over two hours to one of the most beautiful villages in France, Moustiers Saint Marie. The name translates to Monastery of Saint Mary, aka the Mother of Jesus, and it's located in the region of Provence. Our first day in Moustiers, we spent walking around the village, checking out the shops and the beautiful scenery. Honestly, this place feels like it is out of a fairy tale. I was super excited to see the iconic Moustier star hanging high in the sky above us, but more on that shortly. As we wandered somewhat aimlessly through the village, stopping to pat the local cat, we stumbled upon this, a fresh mountain spring water tap. Being a bit of a spring water nerd, this really excited me. Best tasting water ever. We were filling up our drink bottles all the time. Above the town, there is a large gold star that hangs on a long chain between two cliffs. Legend has it that the star was originally hung there by a knight who promised if he was able to return from his imprisonment, he would hang a star over his village to pay tribute to St. Mary. The original star has fallen down and the star we see today was made in 1957. We then jumped in the car and headed to Gorge Ferdon, which is a short 10 minute drive away and has beautiful blue green colour due to the minerals in the water. Then it was time for dinner and we got some takeaway gourmet pizzas from this cute little roadside cafe and headed back to our Airbnb and watched the sunset. The next day we awoke to a knock on the door and a surprise breakfast from our Airbnb hosts. After breakfast we headed into the village to walk up the mountain to the Notre Dame de Beauvoir Chapel. So today we're climbing up the stairs to the church at the top of the hill here. Lots of stairs. The walk is about 20 minutes with stunning views overlooking the countryside and the town below. Something to keep in mind is when it's been raining, the rocky steps can be very slippery, but there are hand railings going most of the way up. Something really funny we saw on this walk was a guy holding a long plain baguette and this is something we saw all over France. People like to walk around with baguettes. I thought it was very amusing. <laughs> you never know when you're just going to have to take a bite of some plain bread. We then arrived at the Notre Dame de Beauvoir Chapel. It is said that in the year 470 AD there was a small shrine occupying the location of the current chapel in honour of Mary. It is believed to have been started by a group of monks from the Abbey of Lorenz, which is an island off the coast of southern France, who were living in the caves nearby. The current chapel today is believed to have been built around the 12th century. We really took our time to appreciate this place. It was very special and it felt very sacred. And I noticed growing on the cliffs was some beautiful wild thyme. We headed back down the mountain into the village and saw this very cute doggy playing fetch with the tourists. 
and had to stop at this ice cream shop and get some lavender and pistachio gelati. It was incredible. We took one last wander around the village before heading back to the Airbnb for our last evening in Moustiers. It certainly was not enough. We do hope to come back again one day and next time we will definitely be staying longer than two days. The next morning we were headed back to Nice, stopping once more at Gorge Verdon. There are also a couple of places here where you can hire kayaks from. Of course, me being the nature kid, I also found some wild rosemary growing here. Then it was time to stop daydreaming and get back in the car and we were really keen for a nice barista coffee, which honestly can be hard to find in Europe. We are very spoiled in Australia with our hipster coffee shops. We did find this absolute gem of a place in Lorg called La Grange Rebel Cafe, which roasts their own coffee beans and also has a gift shop attached. We had a wander around the town of Lorg and then hopped back in the car and we headed straight for Nice. In Nice, we stayed at Hotel Le Royal Promenade des Anglais, which is right opposite the ocean. You won't find sandy beaches here, but you will find very stony and quite unique beaches, especially if you're coming from Australia. I really enjoyed the beaches and the novelty of how different they were. The Mediterranean Sea is just, it just feels different. It's icy cold, it's refreshing, it's beautiful. We spent the afternoon walking around the promenade, checking out the area before heading out to dinner. We stumbled upon this Mexican restaurant, Poco Loco. It was incredibly good. Nice strong margaritas too. Our second and last day in Nice, we headed out for some breakfast before exploring Nice for the day. I highly recommend walking up to the Grand Panorama Denise Lookout. It gives you a great view of all of the beaches and the city as well. There's a fresh food and flower market on every day of the week except for Mondays, 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock. It's definitely worth checking out, although it's really hard not to just want to buy everything you see. We finished off our afternoon in Nice with a jump in the icy cold Mediterranean Sea and enjoying the sunset. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe to see part three of my Europe vlog coming soon.